Mount Etna is located along the eastern coast of Sicily, which is an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Etna is one of the largest active volcanoes in the world. It's a huge mountain. Of course, Mount Etna has many villages along its flanks. So we need a continuous monitoring because even if the volcano appears apparently quiescent, there's always a dynamics inside which can help us a lot in the forecast of future activity. This is one of the automated stations that we use to measure the flux of sulfur dioxide that is emitted by the volcano every day. The SO2 amount in a volcanic plume is very important to us because it tells us when magma is coming to the surface and how much magma is possibly coming to the surface. We have more than 78 seismic stations along the eastern coast of Sicily. More than 60% of them are located on Mount Etna. These stations are deployed all around the summit craters at different altitudes in order to reconstruct the movement of magma and fluids and see if there's a change of the position of the magma from depth to the surface. Thermal images are very useful to study the presence of a fracture, which potentially can be the path for magma. So you can define the regions which are potentially more dangerous. The temperature inside of the pit crater is normal. I think that the level of the magma is low at the moment. It's okay. We put together all this information in order to have a 24 hours monitoring of the volcano. This means that we can forecast the place and of course, in terms of probability, we can say also the time uh, in which this activity can evolve towards an eruption. Mm -hmm. 